So me and Sean first spoke about doing a bait company over 10 years ago when we met down um, Essex Manor, fishing together down there. He was with another bait company at the time, I was with another one. Won't say what they are, but yeah, various big bait companies we've been with in the past. And we sort of thought we could do something with this, um, bringing out a bait that we felt was high end and um, that would appeal to basically people that wanted a top quality bait. Um, it wasn't until probably seven or eight years later, um, Sean left the company that he was with. It was about the sort of time that I wanted to move on. And I said to Sean on a phone call, let's, let's uh, have a little think about doing what we spoke about with the bait company. Once we decided what we wanted to do, it was a process of getting the recipes together that we wanted. So we spent six months in Sean's kitchen, funnily enough, uh, me driving backwards and forwards from Kent to his house and um, basically perfecting the recipes. We wanted two fish meals and a bird food for an all year round stroke winter kind of bait. Two years later, we felt that bringing out a nut bait was something we had to do because people that were buying into our brand were asking us for a nut bait and we felt if we didn't bring out a nut bait then we're going to lose custom to the valuable already growing list of clients uh, that were buying our gear and rather than bring out something that was already on the market which is your standard sort of maple sort of type of baits that everyone seems to do we thought we'd try and do something a little bit different which is pretty much what we've done all the way from the beginning when we started so it was a pretty it was a it was a bit of a toss-up between a maple or a fruit or a cinnamon cream type of of, of uh, nut bait and we, we decided to go with the cinnamon cream. Myself and Sean take a lot of pride in the fact that we use fresh class A eggs in date delivered to us every week on a Wednesday. Once the eggs are all cracked into the bucket we whisk them and sieve out the eggshell. That then goes into the mixer with the liquids and the powder to make about 60 kg paste. It's only people really that have rolled bait in the past that will probably realise how difficult it is. Most people see a little clip of our baits coming off, off the roller and they just think, oh yeah, great, switch it on and make money, but it's not quite that easy. Um, it took me a long time to get used to using the machinery, getting the pressure on the extruder right, getting the speed on the belt right, getting the right length of the sausage into the uh, rollers. Uh, without making too much waste etc. So it's never an easy thing. It might look here, and I know I make it look pretty easy at the moment just by rolling these, but um, it's certainly taken a long time to perfect. And when we come in, we're almost like programmed like robots. He gets on with what he wants to do, I get on with what I want to do, and somewhere down the line, it seems to come together nicely. When we first started out, we didn't even have a website. We were just taking orders from Facebook, inquiries, friends of friends, etc. We spent a lot of money on the website. It's really easily navigated. It's a nice e-commerce website. You can go on there, pay with all your debit and credit cards. We also do a higher track range of fruit-based pop-ups, pineapple, butric acid. Uh, we do fruit punch, Tootie and black pepper in various colours and sizes, yellows, pinks, oranges. It's funny, as much as everyone <laughs> likes to think that, you know, we've got all this bait under our belts now and we can go fishing whenever we want and put it all in, the reality of it is that me and Sean have worked so hard at this for two and a half years, we pretty much haven't done any fishing whatsoever compared to what we used to do. Um, we do get a lot of satisfaction though out of new customers or existing customers ringing us up after they've bought their bait, you know, and they say, oh, I haven't had a bite, I haven't had a bite for three months on this lake, and we sell them a bit of bait and they ring us up 
and they say, I can't believe it, I've just caught two fish, you know, on the, on the bait the first time out. So as much as we don't really get to do as much fishing now as we used to, um, we do get a lot of pleasure and a lot of satisfaction out of the feedback we get from a lot of our happy customers.